All right, guys, I am back. And like we've done before, I'm going to do a mop up and hopefully we'll use up all of these um, straps that I created. Um, so yeah, I really like that when we, um, after a project, we do mod mop up stuff. It gives me extra ephemera and it also, um, yeah, well, it just gives me extra ephemera and I love it. So let's just play there. It's not scripted. I have no idea what we're going to do with them, but we'll do something. I'll probably incorporate some of the, um, like other pieces, like some envelopes and things like that to kind of just make cute stuff. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. Um, so I hope that your week finished up well. Um, I don't know that mine did or didn't, but <laughs> it was just a week, right? Um, it was an interesting week to say the least. Um, what I'm thinking I'm going to do here is just fold that back. Oh, let's find the score tool. That would be a bone folder, whatever you want to call it. And um, this is going to be like a top, a top um, tuck for like a page. I'll show you what I'm thinking in just a minute. Um, let's get a piece of paper here or a folded piece of work. So like it would go up into a corner. So you would glue this side and this side. And then you would also have, cause we're going to glue that. You would also have, let's see, it's small enough. You'd also have this to kind of tuck up in there like so. Well, obviously not through the top, but yeah. Some kind of like that. Um, and we'll throw a little bit of decoration on the top. Maybe something cute, like a label or something like that. Um, yeah. So, these are probably, I know I keep saying it, but these are probably the last videos that I make in this area. Um, cause I've decided tomorrow, which is Sunday that I am going to go ahead and move my stuff out and it's kind of odd and cute, but let's see if we have anything smaller. Um, yeah, so I'm going to record as much as I can today and tomorrow is about moving and cleaning. Um, it's time. Like, I think part of me has been kind of um, not, I don't want to say not moving forward, but maybe a little bit. Maybe we'll just put some, like, clustery things in here. I don't know. Does that sound weird? It almost sounds weird to me, just kind of saying it. Maybe we'll do something kind of like that. Okay. Um, Maybe I'll get my scrap pile down here too and we'll throw some scrap laces and stuff in there. Ah, oh, it's the beauty of doing it this way, right? Or it's just kind of freestyle. And then I think that I am going to list these things for sale. Um... And they're just going to be listed under the challenge title, but then also, um, 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 because I want to adopt a couple of families. So same thing. Um, I will, it all go per donation thing, like donation based, but this time I'm going to, um, cause our, in our area, there's still like, I don't, it was really popular back in like the nineties and stuff. And maybe even like early two thousands to, um, <clears throat> 
have like giving trees like at the local grocery stores and stuff. So I think what I'm gonna do is um, just put um, just adopt a family or adopt a teenager or because it's usually I mean, hate to say it, but a lot of people just adopt like the babies, right? The little kids. And a lot of times teenagers get forgotten about or not forgotten about, but you know what I mean? Like it, they're just like the last to go on the tree, so to speak. So I am going to adopt a couple of teenagers this year. Yeah. All right. So there's that. And do you think we should make the ephemera that goes in it? Oh my goodness. Okay, so <clears throat> most of you know we live out in the country and our cats are like indoor, outdoor, like they go out during the day, they come in at night, that sort of thing. Well, the baby is crying out that window because I won't let her back in because at 6.30 this morning, the little stinker woke me up and literally would not stop being a stinker. Like, she was a terror. Like, she was tearing up the furniture. She'd like, oh my goodness. Like, seriously. I was like, no, no, no. We're not, we're not doing that. It's like the first day in months I've had to sleep in. We are not doing that. <laughs> I mean, of course, she continued. So, like I said, I got up and got her and sent her outside. Like the little stinker she is. So now she's been crying for hours to come back in the house. I'm just like, no, no, sorry, sweetheart. We're not playing this. Because <clears throat> it would, she would be right back to her little antics. Anyways, give me just a second, guys. Um, talk amongst yourselves for a second because I need to grab my cutter that I thought was right over here. And I just happened to push it all the way. And this will fit perfectly in here. Okay. And originally I was thinking cut that in half or cut it down. But if I kept it that size, then we could totally put one of these tall pieces. So that's kind of cute. A little too wide. I bet you we could find something. So yeah, anyhow, she's crying at the window over there. She really needs me to feel sorry for her to let her in. And I'm just not going to buy the cat antics today. <laughs> Well, and part of it is she likes to, when I'm filming, she likes to come into this room and, um, which I mean, I don't mind if they come in, you know, spend some time with me, whatever. Um, but then she goes and gets like into everything. She's like a little toddler. I think she was a year old, like August time, I think. And she has not mellowed in that year. Normally kittens will start mellowing out at about a year. Not this girl. And not, not my calico either. <clears throat> They're both kind of just obnoxious. I haven't quite figured out why they are still obnoxious. This, like, because Hope, or Faith, sorry, Hope, her sister, went to my friend. So Faith is just, she's like a long-haired, kind of like a tabby calico. Um, super cute, super pretty, super sweet, um, unless she's not. <laughs> and, um, actually, let's go ahead and round those corners too. So, yeah, they just both have been major stinkers lately. <clears throat> I think most of the animals... Like domestic animals just go a bit stir crazy, I think. Because, like I said, they're used to being outside and they like to go outside. Like, um, 
and the dogs, the dogs get a little stir crazy because they, they prefer outdoors. They really love it when their humans are out there playing with them, but they, they do because our dogs are working dogs. And um, they like, they like to be outdoors, but they also like to be warm at night. So, you know, that's a really pretty bow we can add to something, huh? Hmm. Anywho. Yeah, that look kind of cute. Just have to trim off the edges. So yeah, um animal drama, right? And I tell you guys, I ended up getting a couple of baby chickens from Grace's uh, ag class, they hatched these little chicks and before, before they left for their trip, they needed a place for them to go. So yeah, I was like, sure, I'll take them. And I got pallets from work. And so I am going to give my... Um, Uh, un, I don't want to say uneducated wood tat like but I found this little pallet pattern for a ch cute little chicken coop so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a whirl and just see what I get uh I might video it just so you guys can get some chuckles <clears throat> okay so then let's put something on the base of that one. What do we think? Something tall, something santy, huh? Have to cut just a snippet off of him there. I kind of like that. I was just trying to see if I had already inked it, but I didn't. So yeah. Um Life seems to be calming down a little bit. Of course, everybody here still has their ups and downs. And um, I guess mourning, I guess you could call it that, for the things that are lost. Okay, there's one entire set done, and it was pretty simple and quick, if I do say so myself. Yep, and it'll go on the page like so. And this one you just open, and plenty of journaling space there. All right, cool. All right, there's one set. Let's see what else we got going. <clears throat> Part of me thinks I'm going to go ahead and just put this on there until we decide because it's in the need of cleaning. Um, let's put that over here. Hmm. Oh, there it is. I was like, where did my stack go? All right. Well, it's good. I think, I think today we're going to really just focus on these little pieces here and maybe hmm. how many inches is this One, two, three, four, five, six, seven inches I think that's probably the best way to go about it, huh? Is just make like a tuck tight pocket down here, do it in half. And then we can 
cover this one on this side, right? We can, it's not like I don't have tons of scraps here, right? <clears throat> Well, maybe we don't need to cover it up. We just use some ink. Another one of those. Where's that Santa one that I just had? Do that. We could totally do that. Let's do that. Let's, shall we? some Christmas colored things in there or something. not quite it. I have an idea of what I would like there, but let's, all right, give me two seconds, guys. I'm going to pause the video because what I want is Claire on the other side of the room and it might take me a minute to find it. Okay. Well, I still never found what I was actually looking for over there. But I did find these, so we're going to use some of those. And hopefully, we'll find some little scraps to kind of back it on to. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Well, maybe not. Oh, I have so much cleanup to do. I think once once I've set my mind to the cleaning, I'm hoping that it it just goes really fast. Like the cleaning and the moving. Yeah, I think I kind of like that. Then I was wondering if we could find a little word or something. Because I know there's a ton of words in these little kits. what we do. I do think I'm going to add just a tad bit more inking color down here. Okay. And making sure I have the right side of the lace. Just kind of glue it here. Yeah, we'll have tons and tons and tons and tons of videos of moving everything out. I probably won't do all of them, but I will definitely. People did ask me to do the, like, how I'm going to organize everything, so I'll do those types of videos. But I'll have to, I'm going to end up having to move my tables and stuff first, and then... There. Oh, 
so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay. All right, now for something really pretty to go in it. I kind of like that because it kind of all ties in together. Now let's put him on some of this shimmery papers. Let's see. I have to cut it down though, obviously. So let's <clears throat> all right, now where did I set my cutter? <clears throat> Let's do four and a half instead. Yes, I'm talking to myself out loud. <laughs> Let's see how far up. I don't remember how far up this kind of went once we set him down in there. I make that too small now. I'm alright if it hangs over just a little bit. We'll just ink some of that. Oh, he's so cute, isn't he? So I think maybe here. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but this is like shimmery paper. Iridescent-y. And I have some fun little projects lined up for this week, um, or this upcoming week, I should say. Um, just cute little things you can keep in your car, and when you run across somebody who you'd want to give a gift to, or it'll be one of them is like a perfect mailing gift because it won't cost the fire out of you to mail it. And it's a little bit more than a card, but yet not so big. It's, like I said, going to cost the fire out of you to mail it. So cute. I'm going to go ahead and just trim that off. I know I said I didn't mind if it hung over a little bit, but okay. There's that one. Now let's make a big tag. Can I go down a little further? Yeah. Hold on. I got an issue here. There. That should be better. Yep. Oh, that's all better. Okay. Um we want because if we made it a tuck we could put a bigger card back here or we could do a tag let's see what we have over here that might kind of blend with it because I don't want to have to make more scraps right that's not the that's not the goal I mean if it's plain paper that's one thing but like plain paper scraps because you can use them anywhere but I kind of think I want 
want to stick with something not over the top and something that kind of blends with this. So let's just see, I got another scrap here. Great. I'm thinking in half again. This time I'm not going to round out edges, but let's find something that kind of matches this little Santa and the poinsettias or or we could just do like a label Thinking maybe something up in here. What if we put one of these up in the corner? To kind of draw, draw it up. Those are kind of distracting, aren't they? Let's get those out of there for a second. And then we'll find some more lace to kind of go so it kind of is that making any sense? Feel free to insert words where I am failing on words right at the moment. Well, if you look at that, there's one similar to one in the bottom. Let's do that. big fan of simple yet beautiful ephemera, right? That way, like I said, it can all be written on. And you don't lose any space. Okay, so then it set down in there like so. Oh, I like that. Oh, I love that. I don't just like it. I love that. All right, so let me check the time here. Let's see if we can... No, we're probably close to the whole 30-minute mark. And so I will call this one a video. Let me show you what we did. 
<clears throat> obviously just that one and then this little piece here all right guys i will see you back in just a little bit right, bye